tell a friend to tell a friend. I do it all holiday in. And we're back with another NBA 2K24 next gen build video. And today I have a special two way three level threat build for you guys that is truly a super athletic build, man. When I say this build could do everything on the court, man, you do have options on this build. If it come to three point shooting, you got it. Mid range shooting, you got it. Passing, you got it. Ball handle, you got it. Okay. Interior defense, shot blocking, rebounding, finishing. You got it, man. You feel what I'm saying? So make sure you watch the video to the end so I can show you this masterpiece. Choose the hand of your choice and the jersey number of your choice. And I forgot, man. 2K got these community bills up there. They need to do it all hall bill up there, man. Don't talk about man. So y'all tag Mike Wayne and all the people, man. Tell them get your boy on the game, man. You feel me? So with this bill, we're going with the center position. You can go power forward if you want to. Totally up to you. I'm not against you going power forward. Do what you want to do. That's totally up to you. Seven foot for the height, 237 on the weight, seven five wingspan. And before I go any further, you already know, hit the like button. 100 likes is the goal. And hit the link in the description to join the Discord. So let's get into it. Now, we're going to start with the finishing. So with this build, we did something a little bit different. I know on the, uh, another build that I did at Power Forward, I had the close shot at like a 77 and the layup at a 70. So this time, I took the layup to an 80. Okay, so that's, that's, that's pretty crazy. Okay, and I took the drive and dunk to an 87. All right, I took the standard dunk to an 83, and that does give us the big man contract dunk pro, and I, it, it's really, really good this year. So um, it, for you to just go all out and do um, a 90 on the standard dunk, that's up to you. You know, I will try to do it on my bill, you know, just to have some fun with it, you know. But an 83 will get the job done. I have an 83 on my center. I have an 83 on my, uh, my uh, Kevin Durant bill, and it does get the job done, I'm telling you. Uh, but to have elite now, they'll put you on another level, for real, for real. Driver dunk, 87. That's pretty good, man. We do get some contact dunks with that. 80 on the layup. We're going to take the strength and the, um, the vertical up. So the vertical has to be at an 80 for that chase down artist on goal. So if you don't want uh, your chase down artist high, then take your vertical down. Okay, we're going to take that strength up to a 90. As you can see, we get fearless finisher. We can't get acrobat. We are too tall. We get aerial wizard. That's a great bass for the putbacks. Um, that's a great bass for the alleys. Uh, we get slithery, bunny, uh, pro touch, two step, float game. We get a lot of bads, man. As y'all can see, I don't have to call them out, but you see that we do get a lot of bads. The only thing we can't get is acrobat. For the driver dunk, we get all the bads that deal with the driver dunk, so you should be good when it comes to that. On the standard dunk, we get all the bads that deal with the standard dunk. Fast twitch is a great badge. Rise up is a great badge. Okay, so all those badges are badges that you need in order to be a good finisher on this game, so I'm glad I was able to get that for you guys. But let's get into the best part. Well, one of the best parts, the mid-range shooting. Now, I see a lot of people shooting in the mid-range, and I just got my mid-range maxed out on my 16. So, be on the lookout for me shooting in the mid-range, man. It, it, it's, it's a little funny with 16 because you don't get a lot of options on the pull-ups and stuff like that. But, you know, we're going to make it work. For the mid-range shot, we do have that at 84. That does give you some good animation when it comes to creating your jump shot and all that stuff. For the three-point shot, we're going to take that up to an 80. That does give us a uh, catch-and-shoot on goal with the 84th um, mid-range, right? Because we can't get it with the three, so we got it with the mid-range shot. And as you can see, if you take it down um, to an 81, um, it'll it, it, um, go down on catch-and-shoot. So we're going to take it to an 84. That does unlock some more badges or whatever. So an 83-point shot is pretty good. And the free throw is a 60. Take it up, take it down, do whatever you want to do with that. So with catch and shoot on goal, I think that's a perfect badge for a build like this. You may be sitting in the corner a lot. You may be on the wing a lot. I don't know. But um, if you do decide to play that way, you got Claymore. You got catch and shoot. You got corner specialists as well. So you should be good. Now, let's go ahead and get it to the sauce. But before we do, I need you guys to do me a huge favor, right? Go down there and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button, and let the video play to the end because that will push the video to the recommended page so everybody, mama, can see this video. And I need everybody, mama, to see the video. So do that for your boy, boy. Now, pass accuracy, we're going to take that to a 75. A 75 pass accuracy does allow us to get some good pass. And I did have it at a 77. If you want to leave it at 77, that's fine. Or take it to a 77, that's fine. It's up to you guys on if you want to need a threader. But the main thing with this build is the break start now. A lot of people are going to say, oh, I want gold break starter, this and that. Hey, man, if you want gold break starter, go ahead and add it to the build, man. That's up to you on if you want to do that. But I went another route with this build. I added a little bit of ball handle and a little bit of speed with ball just so you can have some fun out there if you decide to dribble. Now, we will be able to get Big Driver. Um, it's not going to be super high, but, you know, we can get it. You know, so let's go ahead and take the speed up, speed and acceleration up. You know what I'm saying? So we can get that Big, big Driver. It's not on goal or Hall of Fame or anything, but we still got it. 
So, you know, that's the most important thing as long as we got the badge. You know, all those other badges don't even matter, you know, with a bill like this. I wouldn't expect you to be out there just doing a whole bunch of dribbling with this bill. But in the case that you decide to put the ball on the floor, you can dribble a little bit with this bill. You know, you won't have to be confined to just getting the rebound and kicking it up the court. But one thing I would say, don't do that stuff every time, man. If you get the rebound in your center, you have to start the offense, man. You get the rebound, you kick it up to whoever that has better passing than you and whoever is closer to the rim on the other end. So you want to do that, man. Outlet the pass to the person that, that can get it to the next person. You know, don't try to make the pass yourself, even though you do got a 75 pass accuracy. So if you want to just get it and try to do that, that's fine. I don't know who you play with and how you play, but, you know, that's always an option. Now, for the interior defense, we're going to take that to an 84. That's how we get the two-way name. So we're going to take it to an 84. No, you don't get anything at 84. I just didn't want the uh, same name for this build, so I took it up to an 84. Um, that's pretty good interior defense, if you ask me. We do get post lockdown on this build. We get it on silver, and um, you know, if you want it on gold, you have to take it up to an 88. But that's up to you. Now we're gonna leave the perimeter defense and it's still the same. We don't touch that. We're not necessarily worried about that, but we are worried about the block. Having a 92 block on this build does allow us to get um, chase down artists on gold. We get anchor on gold, and those two bands are very, very, very important. Especially the anchor. You know, when you talk about anchor, you talk about the person that's going to be in the paint blocking shots and altering shots you know you want to be able to do that for your team you don't want to be down there getting scored on left and right and then your team don't have no confidence in you because when i'm playing center i tell the people on the perimeter hey let them go man let them go i'm in here you know what i'm saying unless the dude that i'm holding is just at the three-point line but if i'm in the paint let them go man i promise you i'm going to either block your shot or i'm going to alter your shot so either or it's up to you guys on if you want to come in there and try your boy okay for the offensive rebound we're going to take that to a 93 because that does give us Hall of Fame box. As you can see, we get gold pogo, gold rebound chaser, not bad. We do have an 80 on the defensive rebound, so that's pretty good. And uh, that's that's what we got for the defense, man. I think the defense on this build is, is what you need, you know, when it comes to the blocking and the rebounding. That's what you want as a center. Not necessarily worried about steal. Some people may say, oh, you don't have no steal. Well, if you want to take your steal up, go ahead and take it up. But I don't think that's all important for this build. You want to be a rim protector. You want to be a, uh, um, a person that can... Get, that can do some damage in the paint you feel what i'm saying so with the speed on this build we do have a 68 55 acceleration i don't think you need that super high anyway you know it's up to you guys on if you want to take it up um the speed is one tick off from the max so a 68 to 69 i don't see no huge difference in that 90 on the strength man we do get gold removable enforcer we also get gold brick wall and we get hall of fame box with that we also get bulldozer you know if you want to use bulldozer that's fine uh, we got it on silver, okay? We got an 80 on the uh, vertical. We get chase down artists on gold, pogo, rise up, area with a poster rise for that. And the rest you already know is on stamina. Now let's get it to these shades up. Are you ready? Because guess what? I do not clickbait. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Now, we do have Wendell Carter Jr., we got Walker Kessler, and we also have George Mikan. And the build is a two-way, three-level threat. That's the build I'm out of here, man. Ciao!